Hey, this is Kristen Shaw and this is Show and Tell with Airport Improvement Magazine. Today I'm in Nashville with Gretchen from Interlock Solutions. We're going to talk all about Interlocks so you can get to know them better. If you had to tell somebody in one sentence what Interlock does, Okay. how do you explain that? So Interlock allows you in one sentence, okay. Or two. Well, there's a three-legged stool that we like to talk about, and it's important because um, we're able to provide a complete Maximo asset management uh, approach to an airport and all of its operations and facilities. We do that first by being able to provide three core components. That is the consulting services to bring it into an implementation, the hosting services for smaller airports to be able to walk away a little bit from the application and the infrastructure management, because we take that on board so that they don't have to concern themselves with that and they can just do their job every day as far as the aviation operations versus all the concerns about the IT. The reason why we're so successful when we roll these out, we take a mobility first approach. And that is the third, part of what we do. And this is really important because mobility allows all that data, all that recording of your asset management system to happen in real time, disconnected or connected in the field. In fact, we take an offline first approach. This is very fundamental. And also we take a streamlined approach to the user's experience. The user experience is paramount to be able to collect that data and get it in real time and have it function then from an asset management perspective in the background to provide the reliability that an airport needs from its operations. So give me an example of, of a, you don't have to be even name names of an airport if you don't want to, but like tell me about a project where they really needed your help. So there's various large airports that we work with and some smaller. Um, for quite a while now, we are working with LAWA, which is Los Angeles Airport. Um, we provide managed services and we provide application managed services for them, working with them daily to get the most out of their system integration of Maximo. And we work with them on a regular basis, exploring what they need to do, do perhaps and what they're currently doing with mobility as well. And we work with them for a number of years, making sure that the implementation was efficient as streamlined as possible. Another one would be Philadelphia Airport. We actually are in a situation where we provide the three legs of the stool that I talked about. We provide a hosting environment so they can go a little bit hands off and not have to put that type of investment or and, you know in as far as resourcing or anything of that or that skills training. And so we address that from a hosting perspective. We offload that and we also are there in creating efficiencies with the Maximo asset management the system itself. And we're also rolling out mobility there too. And there's very many applications that are being looked at and different types of integrations that are required. Those are just two to name a few. In another situation, um, we worked with the building information management aspect of building out an entirely new terminal, creating, you know, having all that data come in from that entire process of the build out of the terminal, and then taking that and loading that into Maximo to full, uh, fully be able to be up and running from an asset management perspective in that terminal as soon as it went live. So those are some really key components as far as making sure that you look at asset management a little bit earlier on in the process or to embrace it as you're further building out. So for us, we could work with an airport directly. We could work with many consulting services, providing them the means for them to be able to do facility operations, you know, our whole contracts and deliver on service level agreements with the asset management trappings that we provide, whether mobile in the field or their third party. And then we also, at the same time, um, very often are involved just to assist as far as um, we would either work direct or with the sub or sometimes in a larger project, even at the engineering level, back to the BIM where you're working with someone that needs to make sure they're collecting that asset management for the handoff to the next organization that's coming in from then moving from a build to an operational. So there's many different facets that we can provide. I think, getting back to your question, what is the one thing I would say for a complete asset management system for aviation, we can provide that and have proven that throughout the marketplace. It sounds to me just listening to you, it sounds like you take something that can be very complex with lots of moving parts and you streamline it. Correct. We like to view it that way. In other words, what they see to be obstacles or maybe even challenges or chances for success. We could board it however you would like to on that. What we like to do is make their chances of, their ability to achieve that success quicker 
faster. And we know this and we've learned this over about 19, almost 20 years of doing Maximo Asset Management. And probably I would say in the air, av, airport aviation space, including transit, transit and rail from the very start, that's almost 19, 20 years doing that. And I would say we entered the aviation market space and one of our uh, first clients was Reno Tahoe at that time and that was probably about 15 years ago. So I feel very good about the offering that we have with the solution we bring to the market and how we round that out with a complete solution that we take the burden off of the airport um, to have to make sure all that runs seamlessly. We make sure it runs seamlessly, quicker time to deploy and better, happier user experience throughout the whole process. And that's the whole goal, right? That's the goal. And you know, executives, when they hear that, the lights start to ding, right? Like, yes. okay, you're going to make my job easier. Well, um, yes, but we're going to make it more. more I don't effect, know. Efficient, well, I, I think they want to. I don't know if the word is necessarily easier. Yes, we all want it to be easy. All of us want to hit that easy button in the morning. But I think it, what it is is that we build, we create the trust and that one person that they can go to, to know that they will deliver. You know, I think it's not so much that it's easy, it's that we have that knowledge and the experience to come at it from a very open perspective, understand what's needed to be successful and give that guidance. And I wouldn't say that makes it easier, I think it makes it more comprehensive and efficient and quicker time. And that I think is what they really enjoy. Quicker time, it's not so much that a project won't take some time, but what it does mean is you get l less of the lulls in between. You get less of the back and forth between the different op, you know, people that are providing solutions. And if you can get that solution all together real tight, it's a beautiful thing. Indeed. And that helps their group. Excellent explanation. That, yeah. that helps me understand it better. Yeah. So the one more question that I have for you is, in this business, what kind of trends are you seeing in the airport industry? Like, how are things shifting? Well, we are seeing a trend, or at least the adoption more of mobility, and we think that is fundamental. I think we uh, find that that to be a very important part of people adopting it and getting the best data out of it. When we talk about any type of industry, specific even to aviation or airports, you're always looking at taking the data you get from a real-time perspective, putting that in a system, and then being able to do more creative things. Predictive maintenance, you know, corrective maintenance is what you're reacting to but we're looking at predictive. We can see trends, and then we can start to staff appropriately. We can start to see trending as far as even in equipment and when it's going to be meantime before failure, meantime between failure, things of that. And then we can really start to enact and you know create a discipline within the organization as far as the cost controls, the proper resourcing, and that the asset management system then becomes streamlined rather than heavy overhead. And that's one of the big things mobility and then in addition to that being able to take that real-time data that's coming in that you trust because of the streamlined user process to then a streamlined data experience that allows you to make really good decisions and I think the embracing of that versus other ways in which records go in is fundamental to change how they can envision what that means they work fast you know, an a, you know, an airport and aviation, it's like a small city. All these intertwining parts have to fundamentally work well together to be successful. Impressive. Yeah. Gretchen, thank you so much for joining us today. If someone wanted to look up Interlock Solutions and find out more information, where would they go? They would simply go to interlocksolutions.com and it would be my pleasure to be able to speak with any of you that are curious about partnering with us or having us provide an option of a solution that we are able to give and that we know is proven. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you.